and for the parish council and the planning meeting has been convened. Uh, as you will have seen, this is this meeting has been called as an extraordinary meeting. There are some very specific conditions for calling an extraordinary meeting, and these have not been met. These are specified both in our standing orders, standing order 17B, and in law. An, extra yeah, an extraordinary meeting has to be either called by the chairman or it has to be requisitioned formally by two councillors applying to the chairman for it. I've received no such requisition. As a point of order, um, right. the meeting has already started. Um, if there was any challenge to the holding of the meeting, it should have been done in advance. So can we proceed with the agenda, please? Can we send Mike the link? If it was kept concealed from the council's chairman <laughs> until late publication, he sent it. Uh, it sent it. He sent it to your BT internet, Mike. If we're not ready to proceed with the chairman, <laughs> then we <laughs> have to look at electing an alternative chairman. Just start. I'm going to walk out. Um, I don't know whether you want to listen in. And it's void. No, so, nobody heard any of that, Chairman. Um, I muted you from that. So, if, are you ready to proceed? I can't do much to help you at the moment. Can't, yes. can't mute Chair when he's doing that. Okay. I mean, it's a point of order. Moving you on. Can't. Can you, can't. Sorry. you can't. That was no. unlawful. You can't, I, Ms. Weaver. I am the Chairman and I don't. The Chair speaks first. <laughs> Excuse me, may I just uh, interject here? The chairman... No, you, no, you may not. By, uh, yes, well, I'm going to anyway. The chairman I, was sent I'm to moving, me, was I'm sent to the request me. by Councillors Smith and Kendall, and all the Are requirements have been I'm met. I'm moving a proposal of. to the council that they deem this meeting to be un... Does it not? We, we, I, we either... Yeah, yeah. We either proceed with the agenda or we will eject the um, the problem. You can't. You can't. You can't. The choice is there. No, you are acting illegally. You can't. I'm sorry, but um, Jackie Weaver is correct. No, she's not. She's absolutely legally wrong. No, she's not. He's not wrong. And oh, by the way, I've actually served papers in the High Court regards this today. All right? I'm going to subpoena them. Right. Um, uh, who, who is interfering? Who is interfering? Oh, with, um, me. Who is interfering with the, with the chairman speaking? I am. Oh, so well, therefore, you, you're out of order. Can we now elect a chairman for the current meeting? Oh. The chairman is the chairman. The chairman is here already. You have no right, whatever. You have no right, whatever, to interfere with this meeting. I'm not having an argument about this in the public. Well, there's no need to argue. Where's the chairman? The chairman is speaking. Excuse me, Councillor Birkhill. I am deputy vice chair, deputy chair, whatever you care to call it, planning and environment. Therefore, I will lead the meeting. Thank you. You will not lead the meeting. Yes, I will. No, you're not. Thank you, Councillor Moore. Can we proceed? Certainly. Thank Where you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the uh, Planning and Environment <laughs> Committee meeting. It's an extraordinary meeting, as has already been explained. Um, I'd just like to say that I am um, becoming increasingly concerned about potential costs to the Hanforth Parish Council and hence to the residents of Hanforth. Um, with all this uh, banter that's going around at the moment about legal challenges um, being made, um, do the councillors present at this meeting share my concerns in that regard? On our first meeting when uh, myself was elected in 2015, um, then Mr Brewerton threatened to take the council to the High Court if we voted in favour of the war memorial 
and uh, he had a piece of a, an envelope that he was going to uh, hand to the clerk uh, at the time that he was going to the High Court the next morning in Manchester. As we all know, nothing happened. And in fact, the clerk, John Brooks at the time, actually mentioned that the High Court has no sanction or rulings over parish councils. So Correct. I'll just leave you with that. Okay, thank you, thank you Councillor Smith. I can't hear you, Sue. You've got mute, Sue. I've hit the wrong button. <laughs> the age of technology. Um, um, Chairman, can I, yes. just, can I just say, um, due to the disruptive behaviour, um, I did put the um, three councillors into the waiting room. Yes. Um, which is perfectly legitimate to do, I say, and totally disruptive of the meeting. Um, and I have sent them a message in the waiting room to say if the, you know, if there's no further disruptive behaviour, they are welcome to join the meeting. But I've had no response from them. Right, OK, thank I'm you. I'm unlawfully barred from the meeting. I don't okay. know. I mean, I'm not an architect, although I, I do know we have a very qualified um, person in our... Uh, Alan, <laughs> in our midst. In our midst. <laughs> well, so building line, building line is generally at the distance back from the pavement. So whether they're <laughs> suggesting that it's too close to the pavement and should be set further back. No, it's about his garden. Councillor Smith, are you seconding it? John, you you muted, John. Sorry. Okay, and I do believe that that is the last item on the agenda. We're only five minutes late. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you. Closing the meeting at 1735. No, yeah. 19. 1935. 1935. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Your uh, comments are very well received, and uh, we do appreciate it. Okay, we have to leave now and go to the new meeting, don't we? You do indeed, which mm. presumably will start pretty much like this one did. Okay, so we'll leave now.